Hello Cancer, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. This is your reading for the month of June and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Uh, cancer, uh, in this reading we'll see what are the general messages you need to know. What are the love messages you need to know. In general messages we'll see what... Uh, We'll see what is your overall energy, what are the messages related to career and finances. When it comes to your love life, we'll see uh, what, what your ex is thinking and feeling about you or what is their energy and energy of the next romantic partner. We'll also see the challenges and opportunities that are coming towards you, Cancer. There is an extended reading for this one. Link for the same is in description box and comment section. All right. Let's get started. I'm going to lay down the cards first. Cancer, we have four of wands for you. Your overall energy for the month of June. Career and finances, we have king of swords. Other general messages, we have empress. Energy of your ex, Ace of Wands. Energy of the next, we have Six of Pentacles and the Chariot. You've got a very good spread. Challenges that are coming towards you, we have Ten of Pentacles. Opportunities that are coming towards you, we have Six of Swords. So, uh, Cancer, the zodiac signs which are standing out are Libra, Taurus, another Cancer, Sagittarius, Gemini, Leo. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. You're going to see 11, 11. You're going to see 333. Three, three. Triple one six six six. So, Cancer, four of wands is telling me that your focus will be towards partnership. Okay. Uh, now, this can be related to romantic partnership this can be related to business partnerships and maybe for uh i mean say for example you there are already some partnerships uh, companionships uh, collaborations that are going on in your personal life professional life but it is also probably uh, a challenging period for you when it comes to any kind of a partnership and your focus will be to work towards it to overcome the challenges say for example you're already in a connection and uh, of late you're observing that you and your partner are fighting uh, literally for no reasons but there are some uh, Inadvertently, you and your person uh, finds yourself uh, fighting with one another. Uh, which is causing trouble in the relationship. So, this is something you probably are observing in, in the month of May, in the month of April, March, or even before that. And now you are like... All set and determined, like come what may, I'm going to make sure that such kind of unnecessary challenges are not getting posed to my relationship with my person, to this relationship with my person. This is one analogy. For some of you, it can also be the case like you're facing problems in your work-related partnership now it can be a business partner it can be a 
uh, work colleague, it can be your boss, it can be your employee, employer, it can be your customer, vendor. Your focus will be to streamline the difficulties that you are facing in that relationship. For many of you, you might be single and you will, you are craving for partnership. You are like, I have so many things that are going on in my life. There are so many ups and downs that are going on in my life and I have nobody with whom I can share this. Okay. So your focus will be to create a relationship, uh, to create a partnership in your life. Romantic, friendship, any other relationship, any other partnership. Okay. And you will be feeling like there is a huge void in my life and I want to fulfill that by uh, experiencing meaningful partnerships, okay? So it is quite possible that your focus, your dedication will be towards manifesting fruitful, meaningful partnerships in your life, whether it is romantic or any other relationship. Some of you might be keen on manifesting a friendship, right? Now, again, I am telling you, I'll also tell you the reason why I am thinking that for some of you, partnerships might be a challenge because in challenge card, we have got 10 of pentacles, which I'm going to elaborate uh, later on. But this is very, there is a very strong correlation between these two. I mean, why you're focusing on partnerships because you are experiencing problems in partnership. Or you might be feeling like there is a lack of partnership in my life and that's why I need to create a partnership. If there are existing partnerships, any form of partnership, professional, career related, romantic, personal relations with your family members or with your friends, relationships with your vendors, your uh, customers. If you're facing problems over there, you, your focus will be to streamline those partnerships, to work towards those partnerships. And if there is a lack of partnership, your focus will be to create partnerships. Cancer. Because you're feeling a void, because you're feeling like I don't have that special person in my life, whether it is a friend, whether it is uh, a romantic partner, I don't have that in my life with whom I can really share my life, my routine. When I return home, I want someone for me, someone waiting for me. For some of you, you might even think of adopting a pet. You will be like, that's it. I'm, I'm going to improve my relationships. Uh, I want to experience partnerships where there is unconditional love, where there is pure love. And what, I mean, who who can give you this unconditional and pure love? other than pets, other than animals. They don't know 50 shades of gray. They don't know the gray areas. They only know black and white. They will love you or they will bite you. But they will also bite you if you do something wrong to them. Okay, not otherwise. All they know is love for you. All they know is to wait in front of that door for the entire day so that, you know, they can wag their tail once they see you entering, the, entering from the house door so some of you might even key, even be keen on uh, adopting pets if you already have pets you might think about increasing the number of pets as far as your career is concerned we have king of swords cancer king of swords is telling me cancer that you are taking a very strict approach towards your career uh, maybe you are feeling like uh, you probably are acting a bit casual or you're wasting your time a, lo a lot or probably you're not acting disciplined enough. There is something that you feel is lacking and you will try to restore it. I, I feel like the entire month of June is a month where you're going to evaluate your life to a large extent your different attributes of your life your personal life your professional life you're going to evaluate that a lot and based on your own evaluations you're going to be your best critic in the month of june cancer and based on whatever your observations are about yourself you are going to take action accordingly
So what I feel over here, Cancer, is that especially when it comes to career, it's like it's it's a no nonsense approach. You are if you are an employer and if you have employees working for you, they might be a bit terrified of you in the month of June because you are coming across as a very strict boss. Or if you have people reporting to you, you'll come across as a very disciplined and a strict boss because you are trying to meet certain deadlines. You're trying to achieve certain things and you have expectations from yourselves and you are also kind of imposing your rules and regulations on others. Like this is what you're going to follow and this is what you need to follow for the month of June. Only then we will be, we will be able to achieve something. So you're playing within the rules as far as the career and professional life is concerned. Uh, apart from that, uh, if you're supposed to give money to anyone or if someone is asking you money, not you're supposed to give money, if someone is asking you money, you're going to be either you're going to reject that because you will feel like you are you are in dire need of money and you don't you cannot afford to lend that money or because you will feel like that person is not capable of returning your money so that is why i see you rejecting giving any money to anyone else uh general messages we have the empress Empress is telling me uh, that there is a very keen desire to create something. <clears throat> Either it's a desire to create a life that is someone wants to become pregnant over here Either you want to become a baby mama or a baby dada. You want to become a mother or a father. Or it's like you want to create a life for yourself. You have an idea about it, the kind of life it would be. I do see that this is a luxurious life that you want to create for yourself. If it is not a baby, then you want to create a luxurious life for yourself. And you will you will try to understand this is a this is a vision that you had created for yourself long back. And again, I do see you evaluating and trying to understand why you haven't met this goal of having a luxurious life for yourself so far. So if there are certain things that you need to rectify, if you are required to create another line of business, you will start doing that. If you are required to have, uh, if you are required to start your new business along with someone else, you will also uh, find a business partner for yourself. <clears throat> but I do see you are chasing your goals related to your careers, career to a large extent. Okay. Talking about your ex, your ex is feeling absolutely sexually attracted towards you, Cancer. And they want a new beginning with you. I mean, aces are always about new beginnings, right? They want this new passionate beginning with you. But this person has seen you somewhere. You might have noticed them. You might have not noticed them. But this person has certainly seen you somewhere. Okay? <clears throat> and... They are feeling so tempted they are feeling so seduced or they felt so seduced at that point of time without even you looking at them. And they are like, that's it. I committed a huge mistake by, you know, mistreating cancer or letting them walk away from this relationship. But I think I want another chance with cancer. I want to experience 
relationship with cancer all over again and especially there are a lot of sexual cravings over here so they want to satisfy those cravings okay so that is also one of the primary reason why they are trying to come back for another beginning as far as your <clears throat> new person is concerned we have the chariot and we have six of pentacles the new person kind of tells me cancer that very calm composed personality rarely they get they uh, they get angered and if they feel angry there has to be some very solid reason for that otherwise they don't get angry but when they get angry the entire world should be silent i mean no one should mess around with them uh this person they have come a long way cancer very hard working person they believe in one thing and that is preparation this person is prepared all the time despite any kind of uh, challenges despite anything they are always ready to face whatever comes their way this person is very bold very courageous fearless no fear at all they don't fear venturing into new situations they don't fear new territories unknown territories they don't they don't have that word fear in their dictionary always keen on upgrading their skills and upgrading their knowledge i think so this person is a voracious reader they uh they have amazing hobbies i think so this person reads a lot they love cooking they love uh inviting friends at home and cook for them okay and uh, they are very honest very honest very transparent no gray shades at all I think so this person is a business person they do have good amount of money and they are also very generous but people have also taken lot of undue advantage of their generosity that is also why they are so particular in allowing anyone in their life okay they don't have many friends they have a very close knit circle but they are happy and content with whoever they have okay uh it is quite possible that this person keeps on traveling a lot for their work If this is a female she might have blonde hair. If this is a male he is going to be tall and he might have black hair or brown hair. And uh, this person mostly appears in formals. If this is a man, if this is a female, she will be dressing conservatively. <clears throat> But whoever this person is very good looking, gorgeous face, absolutely gorgeous. okay they have very good eyes they have big eyes big eyes straight nose and a beautiful jawline okay like uh, they have those chiseled fe- uh, features okay they their features look like they have been carved out kind of a uh, kind of features and uh, this person has immense love for animals tremendous amount of love for animals this person certainly will have uh, more lot of pets this person will fulfill all of your expectations that you have uh, that you have in a romantic partner okay you might initially feel bit intimidated by their presence this person has a magnanimous presence i mean once they enter the room they become the center of attraction right away okay like they have that magnanimous personality very attractive personality i think so this person is tall pretty tall i'm hearing at least 6162 at least okay 
but they don't mind their partners being short and they are also kind of fine with tall partners okay they don't have any specific criteria regarding height they are they are concerned about the connection that they will develop with the person this is a beautiful relationship there is a lot of love no doubt about it more so you will find yourself at peace when you will be with this person your mind your soul will be at peace which was not there in any of your previous relationships there was lack of peace in all of your previous relationships the challenges i told you right partnerships might be challenge but i also see that you are very much determined to work on those challenges okay that is something that i've elaborated at the start opportunities we have six of uh, swords six of swords is telling me cancer that you will get opportunity to travel a lot you're going to travel a lot or you'll get opportunity to relocate if that's on your mind okay All right I hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you and likely conclusion about uh you and this person take care have a great time and bye bye